turn the canals into the damn X Games. Yeah, that's because we were in lifeguard pursuit. There's no such thing as lifeguard pursuit. How do I explain this so that you people understand? You people? You people? Oh, you don't get to say that. You're just tan. Right on. Come on, brother. All right, it's now the summer of 2017, and we're kicking it off with Baywatch. My name is Brandon Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. So Baywatch is directed by Seth Gordon. He's known for a number of the TV shows he's been in charge of back in the day, but most notably Identity Theft and Horrible Bosses. I really did like both of those movies. They were very funny to me, especially Horrible Bosses. Actually, Horrible Bosses is hilarious. And I like Horrible Bosses a lot better than part two. And what Baywatch is about is loosely based off the old TV show that debuted back in fall of 1989. And when I looked it up, I was just like, wow, I didn't know it came out way back then. I would have said kind of like early 90s or something like that. But no, all the way back from 1989 to 2000, starring two great stars, Pamela Anderson and David Hasselhoff. And whether or not they make a cameo in this new reboot, I'm not going to tell you. You're just going to have to go see it for yourself. But instead of that, now we have two new stars, Dwayne Johnson and Zac Efron. And when I first saw this trailer, I looked at it and I was like, okay, you know, it, it really doesn't get me excited. I'm not sitting here saying, oh my gosh, I can't wait to see it. When is, when is this Baywatch movie coming out? But I will say, one thing that I really did like about this movie is the tone and how it set that tone very early on in the film. And when you see the description of this movie, it says action adventure drama. And it really is is an action adventure film you know and i was really surprised by that because you know you say to yourself okay you know baywatch that kind of was like a make fun of itself corny over the top show how can they turn that into something serious to where you actually want to invest yourself in the characters and you care about it and that's just one great thing with this tone i mean i was going into this i forgot that it was rated r but early on the film lets you know that it is rated r so that just kind of lets you know hey guys we're not effing around this is no jokes you need to take that seriously and i don't know about you but me i'm not the type of person that goes to the beach all the time the last time i've been to a beach was many 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 years ago i mean i had fun but you know they have lifeguards there and lifeguards are necessary but me personally i never really thought about how important a lifeguard's role is and all the things that they do day to day to keep people safe on the beach and it really is a serious job that you can't really play around with. And after seeing this movie, I have a newfound respect for lifeguards. And that's also especially due to the characters. Duran The Rock Johnson, he stole the show within this film. And the movie is not just serious either. It's funny too. When I was seeing the trailers and they was dropping a lot of the jokes, you know, I kind of chuckled here and there, but I was like, okay, this is going to be corny. This is going to be stupid. This is just a money grab. And, you know, the studio, the Paramount Pictures did not put any effort into trying to produce something good and that's worthy for your money. But no, I take that all back. It's a serious film and it's very funny too. They have a lot of recurring jokes that don't get old and they just get funnier and funnier and funnier as the film progresses towards the end some jokes are perfectly fine for everyone young kids or even the family some jokes are just over the top very vulgar we're talking like you know american pie uh hangover type funny but it was all funny to me i was laughing throughout the movie some of the things i was chuckling at some of the things i was laughing my ass off out loud with everyone else in the auditorium and like i said before there is actually a real sense of danger within this film it's not just a bunch of attractive people running around on the beach and i mean they do have all that they do pay respect to the old TV show Baywatch that came before, where they have a lot of gorgeous women, a lot of slow-mo. When they're running in slow-mo, their breasts are bouncing up and down. When they're showing ass shots, all of their swimming trunks and swimming suits are riding up their ass. They have all of that, but they don't go over the top with it. I mean, I like how they did that. I mean, it makes sense for how they portrayed that in the movie, but also pays respect to all the corniness that the old Baywatch show used to have back in the day that people made fun of. And going back to the sense of danger, when you're watching this movie, you're on board with the characters and their lifestyle and how they're trying to help people survive and have a great time at the beach. And even Zac Afron's character, while he's kind of coming off as a as an asshole towards the beginning 
he really does humble himself and realize that there is much more to learn in life. And when you have everything, even two gold medals, that you can lose everything. So, you know, you need to treat people fairly because you just never know what the next day will come and you could just lose it all. And that's something that his character had to deal with in this movie. That just made him more relatable and just, you know, easy to look at, you know, when he's on screen with all his crazy shenanigans. The only things that I did not like about the film were two things. Some of the times when they were trying to pose a worthy threat and just show how dangerous a certain villain would be, they kind of threw in a joke here and there that didn't really fit. It didn't stick on the wall. It was like, okay, you just ruined this scene for me. If you could have just, you know, stayed hardcore, you know, we could have went on to the next scene and I would have liked it. But this little joke here and there kind of ruined it for me. And there's also one scene in the trailer where The Rock is trying to save someone in a fire. And this is in the trailer and the girl, it's like fire everywhere and she's about to die. But she's trying to get a date and make jokes while in the middle of a rescue. That was kind of silly and I wish they didn't put that in there. And also the movie did feel a little bit long. I don't mind long movies. I don't mind a movie that's three hours and 30 minutes as long as it doesn't feel long. But this one is coming in at like right under two hours. Right at like one hour and 54 minutes. And they could have easily, you know, cut off about 20, 25 minutes, maybe even 30. This would have been like the perfect 90 minute movie. But there were some portions of the scene, uh, excuse me, there were some portions of the film to where they were just trying to beef it up and you already knew where the story and plot were trying to go and you just wanted them to get there. But all this extra fluff was just not necessary. But just a few jokes here and there that didn't stick well and the length of the time of the film was the only things that I have to complain about. Everything else, you know, was a pleasant surprise and I really enjoyed it. Uh, I really recommend this film and I think everyone should go see it. Uh, my expectations were low is possibly why I enjoyed it so much, but it was a really great time. I was laughing pretty much throughout the whole movie and had a great sense of danger, great characters. And I learned a lot and found a new respect for lifeguards that I never had before. If I had to rate this film out of a 1 out of 10, I would give it an 8 out of 10. Yes, an 8 out of a 10. But guys, that's just my opinion. Have you seen Baywatch? Do you want to see it? Have I turned you on? Have I turned you off? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. Guys, I really need your help. I really want to go to the red carpet premiere of Black Panther that comes out February of 2018, wherever that's going to be. I love comic books. I love Marvel. I love Black Panther. I'm black. The movie comes out in Black History Month next year. Wow. That would just be a great treat to me. So please help me out and get there. What is it a likely chance I'll go? Who knows? It's a long shot. Yes, I know, but I'm going for it. So help me out by getting there by sharing this video 1,000 times. And if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you don't like the video, that's perfectly fine. Just leave me a comment below why and still give me the thumbs up. Since you're watching this video on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you can get all the content that I have to provide. Also, you can check out my website, go to it, check out my written reviews and book market, and also look me up on social media. But guys, I just want to thank you again for tuning in for my review slash your pen on the new rebooted Baywatch. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brennan Keith Avery, and that's just my opinion. Peace.